Hey there! If you landed on this video after checking out our hover interaction lesson, then welcome back. You're exactly where you need to be. If not, no worries. Let's take a quick look at the changes we've already made to this Pi file so far. Initially, we took a more time-consuming route to create a mouse over and mouse out effect for our website. Using the ProtoPie school container, we've had to duplicate our triggers and responses manually. Not only that, but we've had to adjust each property one by one. Isn't there a way to complete this process more quickly and efficiently in ProtoPie? Absolutely. In this lesson, we'd like to introduce one of ProtoPie's powerful features called Component. Not only does a component make the process super easy, it allows layers and interactions to become reusable, cleans up your files, and will save you tons of time avoiding redundant work. We'll split this into three easy steps, create, reuse, and manage. Let's jump in. Create. First of all, it's important to note that components in ProtoPie are all packaged according to the selected layer or layers, not interactions. For this reason, you should always select a layer first so that the interactions attached to it are included in the component. Let's go back to the ProtoPie school container. Click on the component icon at the top of the screen, the one with the little lightning bolt above it. Once clicked, the container ProtoPie school automatically becomes a component. Every interaction on this selected layer is now converted as a part of that component. Click on this icon on the right-hand side of the scene panel to see the component we just created. We can rename it to whatever makes you recall better what it's for. Let's go with list item. Let's proceed to creating an instance of this component by dragging it straight from the panel to our canvas. Once a new component instance is made, all of our interactions in the ProtoPie school container, the mouse hover, mouse out, and the link it holds have been duplicated. What a great feature. Reuse. Now let's make more component instances. Drag and drop a couple of times more into the canvas as we did before. Of course, you'd like to change the component's name as it appears on the web page, and you might want to do this by directly editing the text in the Layers panel. But this is impossible, as they are uneditable by default to preserve the original layer names. To change each layer properties, double-click on the main component right here, and you'll be directed to the component view. This will pull up the layers of the component as they appear within the scene. Now click the layer you'd like to change. In the Property panel on the right side, click Make Layers Editable. So now, when we hop back to our navigation scene, making something editable within the main component, it can now be changed on the component instances within our scene, whether it be the title, description, and so on. Pretty simple, right? Let's rename our three components. Now that you've learned how to manipulate a component's text, it's time to change the icons as well. Click the image layer inside the component instance. Go to the property panel and change the fill image to the corresponding icon. And do the same for the rest. Easy peasy. Alternatively, if you want to be able to reuse the icons in your Pi file, you can do so by choosing to convert them into components first so they become the universal assets in your Pi. How? Head over to the ProtoPie School main component, then convert the container icon graduation cap into a component. Do the same to the rest of the icons too. When this is all done, our icon is now a child component of the list item. Now it's time to say goodbye to the previous ones. As a finishing touch, Find and swap it to the correct one inside each component instance. Let's group them all together under the pop-up container. Manage. We're almost done. We've covered creating and reusing components. Lastly, as considered best practice, let's organize our work better. In the Layers panel, take a moment to rename our list item to match the titles of the components in the scene. Shall we preview? All the hover interactions attached to our main component 
appear in our component instances. Most importantly, we don't need to create multiple interaction pieces anymore or waste the time that would require. In closing, you'll see that the links associated with all the duplicated components remain the same as the original. How do we fix this? Continue on to the next lesson to find out. See you there!